carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry. Carrie Livgren was one of the founding members and primary writers for the 70s supergroup Kansas. Having grown up listening to the works of classical composers, notably the Romantics such as Liszt and Wagner, Livgren's songwriting techniques has always tended towards orchestration with an ear for the majestic or the symphonic. Playing with numerous bands throughout the late 60s and early 70s, including early incarnations of Kansas that included Dave Hope, and Phil E. Hart. Livgren joined White Clover in 1974, a band featuring vocalist Steve Walsh and violinist Robbie Steinhardt. Shortly after Carrie joined, the group changed their name to Kansas. As a member of Kansas, Livgren shared songwriting duties with Walsh, and as the group progressed, it became evident that Carrie contributed much of what made their music so unique, specifically its complexity and lyrics that spoke of a restless search for truth. In 1976, while Walsh was suffering from a bout with writer's block, Livgren penned nearly all the songs on their Left Overture album, including their smash hit, Carry On, Wayward Son. The following year saw an even greater commercial success on their strength of their Point of No Return album, which featured the existential Livgren pen, Dust in the Wind. After many years of flirting with various religious teachings, Carrie became immersed in Urantia, a then-trendy spiritualist, pantheistic faith. Many of the songs of Kansas' monolith album resonate with European teachings. While on tour supporting monolith, Livgren converted to Christianity, as later did fellow bandmate Dave Hope. Many of the songs on the albums to follow, particularly 1982's Vinyl Confessions and Livgren's first solo album, Seeds of Change, have a distinct, if not overbearing, Christian message. During the recording of Vinyl Confessions, many other notable Christian artists began to gravitate towards Kansas, specifically John Elefante, Warren Hamm, formerly with Blood Rock, and Michael Gleason. Dissatisfied with Kansas's Drastic Measures album and the musical direction the group is taking, and also afire with his newfound faith, Livgren, Hope, Ham, and Gleason, and drummer Dennis Holt formed a new band, AD. Taking on many of Livgren's complex musical stylings, giving them an 80 spin, and injecting the freedom to sing about religious subjects. Three albums were released with AD. Timeline, Art of the State, and reconstructions. Released after Warren Ham's departure, bound by contractual obligation, Carrie Livgren was unable to release music by any vehicle other than Kansas. As a result, the latter two AD albums were released only in the Christian market, and at that, combined with tours consisting primarily of small clubs and churches, allowed the public virtually no exposure to the music. The band ran themselves into the ground fairly quickly, acquiring some significant debts. In an attempt to pay these off, Carrie and Ham quickly recorded Prime Over, a collection of previously unrecorded 80 tracks. Livgren has since become a full-time farmer, releasing the odd album here and there. He has continued to write music and has appeared with the reformed Kansas from time to time. The 2000 Kansas and Somewhere to Elsewhere was recorded at Livgren's studio in Kansas, featuring all the original members and bassist Billy Greer. Each track on Somewhere to Elsewhere was written by Carrie Livgren himself. Check his website for tours and dates near you. Over the years, Carrie Livgren has played an assortment of different guitars. He's been known to play Gibson and Dean guitars as he had an endorsement relationship with both companies during his time with Kansas. Livgren's longest relationship is with Dean Guitars, and he's often seen playing a Dean Cadillac, which is essentially a Les Paul design with a V headstock, as well as Dean Vendettas and hardtails. Like many other artists during the 80s, he used 100-watt Marshall heads and 4x12 cabinets, 
However, today he plays through a custom-built, hand-wired Jones KL100, which he describes as an amp with the capabilities of switching between a 100-watt Marshall head and a Fender Twin. In addition to being an outstanding guitarist, Carey also performed a substantial amount of piano and synthesizer parts during his time with Kansas, often using a Mini Moog and a Korg PS3200.